Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have come on today to show you two of the bags that I have been using. So most of my videos are what I will be changing into. This is something to show you what I have been using. So I just wanted to take a moment and show you. This is a combination of two brand name bags. And I have been using these for work for about a week now. Last minute changes always happen with me. So this is the one I have been using for about a week. This is the light pink tote with the light tan handles. This is from Roots. This is a company in Canada. These bags are made in Canada. They're all leather bags. You will know it's a Roots bag by this beaver symbol right here. That is their trademark. And this is the bag that I have been using to accompany that. And this is the Fossil Sydney Satchel. I'm going to review two bags. But I will have to break it into two videos because it is. I will have to break it into two videos because of the size of these bags and what I have packed inside. So let's take a look at this Roots one first. And I will show you what I have inside this bag. This is a beautiful pale pink. As I said, it is a Roots company. It's Canadian made. Just the color on this bag is just so complimentary with the handles and the actual body of the bag. It has come with silver grommets that hold the handles in place. As you can see, it has the silver beaver on the front. There are no zippers on the top of the bag, snap closures. There's no outside pocket as well. There's no inside zipper as you can see right there. It has no feet on the bottom of the bag either. It is a soft leather bag. As I said, I've been using this for a week, so it has been used quite often, this bag. I only add a Norwex cleaning cloth for glasses, as you all know I wear glasses. So I have this on the outside of the bag. The color just goes so nicely with this bag. So I have that just linked on here with just a silver chain. I use an ID tag where I work, so I always attach that to here. This is the signature roots again from the tag. There's the signature beaver. So those are on there as well. Let's take a look and see what I have inside this bag. The handles collapse so nicely. And as I said, I have been using this for a while, okay? So um, bear with me for what's in here. I tell you guys all about my Ultima drink for electrolytes. And this is the water bottle that I use. It's just a standard stainless steel water bottle. You see it's well used, it's all scratched. So that's it right there. I also have in here, so you guys see the Ultima drink packages that I use. Then over here to show you. So this is one that I just put in my water this morning. This is the ones that I always carry in my bags. So I have gone and bought the container of the grape. As you can see, it's zero sugar. It is an electrolyte drink mix. It has 30 servings in this container. And I put that with my water bottle. So one scoop of this does this water bottle nicely. And this holds a standard 350 mils of water. 
So those two are always with me in my work bag. I also have with me just some papers. I have Bullcrit together. I also have a Radon notebook that I carry in my bag. Pencil case. This has all kinds of pens, pencils, colors. I've done this with you before. You guys know I love the Paper Mate Ink Joy pens. They're all in there. A mixture of others, of course. You guys have seen this. This, again, as I said, comes with me every day to work. This is my Foxy Fix planner with six inserts. I just placed a velvet bow at the top. You can do a review of this if you wish. To see that, please comment below. This is the elastic that holds everything together. And these are interchangeable, by the way. You can just buy the replacement elastics for the... And these books that you buy are amazing to keep you stay on track. There's a bill payment. This is gratitude and joy. And this is your pets. My One of my puppy's names is Petunia. And you can fill that out. And there's just some extra papers, stickers, keynotes. That's in there. This is the bag that I use to organize this planner. This is actually an Ipsy kit, as you can see there. And I've just reused one of their bags. And here I have put here's a pencil from when I updated last night. There are some full clips as well. This is a little paper clip. fabric marker on the top. There are some more pens in here. These are the Paper Mate Ink Joy pens. These are the mini collection. I have some paper clips in here, tape, and some more clips. And the rest is an assortment of pens. That's in there as well. And here is hand cream for champagne toast. As you can see, a well-used bag. See all the pen marks at the bottom. My umbrella. Here is the Signature Roots stamp. So in this pocket, I have nail file. Another pen. Regular, everyday paper mating. Joy. Pen. These are two other pens. These pens, I was asked where these came from. These pens are actually from a kit that you can get for your planner and, and these pens are included. This is watermelon lemonade hand cream from Bath and Body Works. There's another Ultima for electrolytes. You can purchase this on Amazon. The tub as well. I have coconut body shop hand cream in here. I also have in here Burt's Bees watermelon tinted lip gloss. More paper clips. I have an EOS lip balm. It's a note for myself that my other dog, Theo, needs to be groomed. I have a candy in here from the keg. And here also is a chapstick, total hydration as well. And let's see. I think that's it. Let's see what's in there. Yeah, what's in there. 
and another pen mark. This is the bag. Again, it is a Roots pink tote. It is just a beautiful bag, but as I said, it is what I have been using for the past week or so for the office. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the like and subscribe button as well. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I do upload another video. There is a part two coming to this video as well. And that part two, again, is to the fossil Sydney satchel. If you'd like to see a review of this bag or what I have packed inside, please stay tuned for video number two. Hope to see you soon.